What's up guys? Andrew Fairby here, founder of Knowledge for Men. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why do women leave good men? We understand why women might leave low quality men, but what about good men who are doing everything right according to society? It's not what you think where, oh, it's he's not making enough money or he's not tall enough, he's not good looking enough, he doesn't have his own, the big house or he doesn't have the nice car. All these things that men commonly think are the reason why women go from one man to another man and why they would leave a man who is actually progressing in life. So what went wrong? And how can we prevent this from happening to you, either currently if you're in a relationship or help you understand why a woman may have left you in the past or how to prevent something from happening in the future when you do engage in a relationship? And so why on earth does this occur? I mean, the guy did everything right except this one thing. And it's so blatantly obvious to women, but so hard to see for men. However, the real conundrum here is that women can't tell you what this one thing is. It's just simply not her job to address and to fix this problem for you. It is entirely up to the man. You see, it starts with one small issue that is then going to compound over time into a very big issue, which then leads to all kinds of disagreement, all kinds of fighting, all kinds of bickering, all kinds of disconnection, lack of intimacy, which then leads to the lack of respect, lack of intimacy in the bedroom. And then what we have is likely a breakup or a very dysfunctional relationship. And that one thing is when the man loses his masculine power, when he loses that masculine energy that women crave, you see, once he's lost his masculine power, he starts to settle in other aspects of his life. All the things that he used to do that gave him that masculine spirit, that aliveness, that freedom, that drive to go out and conquer goals, to go out and meet the woman that you met and, and, and engage in a relationship and to date her and to make it to where you are now today, that masculine spirit, once it fades away, you begin to settle in life. And this settlement in life starts then to lead to stagnation in the man's life. You see, once a man starts to have some level of baseline success in his personal life, in his professional life, in his relationships, he starts to lose the very spirit that got him to where he is today. And he starts leaning more towards a life of comfort. He starts doing what is easiest, doing what provides pleasure in the short term versus a life of discomfort, which is going to be associated with risk, with boldness, with decisiveness, the very things that would advance a man's life forward. And this translates very much in the relationship and she can feel your lack of power in the relationship. And what this looks like is you stop disagreeing with her. You stop setting boundaries. You stop leading the relationship. You stop driving the relationship. You, you stop providing structure. You stop providing a vision. You stop having a direction that this relationship is going in. You stop upholding the things that are very important to you. You, you, you don't have your own individual values that you bring into the relationship and you start just doing what is easiest. You do what is comfortable. You do the things that would prevent an argument or that would prevent more fighting. And you think and live by this motto that, hey, if we're not arguing, if we're not fighting, then we must be doing good because we obviously agree. But the problem here is neither of you are getting your needs met. And you're certainly not getting your needs met by simply agreeing to her every whim. And when this happens, you are losing your power. She needs to feel that masculine energy that is so attractive to women. That is the very reason why she is with a man. Otherwise, the man is really no different than one of her girlfriends or her sister or just living at home. What is the significant difference between a, a man who lacks masculine energy and a woman? There's no real attraction driver that would draw her to you. And so what happens when she's experiencing this is she starts to feel unsafe. And when a woman starts to feel unsafe, she lashes out at the man. That's when you're gonna see an increase in disagreement, in bickering, all the little things that 
uh, start to all of a sudden upset her that that used to never be a problem when when she was more in her uh, feminine state where she was more supportive, loving, nurturing, and there for you and didn't even notice all these little things. It starts to feel like the man can just never get it right, can never satisfy her. He can do all the things that she lists out that she wants him to do. He can do them above and beyond, but it's never enough. Why? Because it is not about the little things that she wants you to do. What she wants is you to step up in your power. She wants the masculine energy. She wants that masculine spirit back in the relationship. She needs a masculine leader to lead this relationship forward, to have a vision, to have a future that is gonna have structure and bring her into a place of safety. And this is what happens when you rebalance the masculine and the feminine dynamic. But currently what we have in society is we have a lot of women who who are feeling very unsafe because they're living with men or dating men who aren't really uh, masculine men. They lean towards a life of comfort. They do what is easiest. They avoid setting their own boundaries. They avoid what is important to them all to please the women. And this is what we call a nice guy. This is that nice guy archetype that is not attractive to women. You can, of course, be kind to women, but you cannot also disregard your own values as a man. You cannot disregard your livelihood, your passions, your purpose cannot be put on the shelf in order to please a woman. Those are the very things that would attract her to you and likely would attracted her to you in the first place. And now once she's feeling unsafe, She's going to then interact with other men at work or at social parties and social gatherings or just throughout her day where when she sees the slightest bit of masculine leadership from another man, it makes her feel alive. It makes her feel safe. And she starts to disassociate less with you and she starts to see other men as more attractive. And that's when it starts to drip into her mind that maybe I'm with the wrong man and there's this whole other world out here of other men who are a lot more alive, who still have their power and can lead me into a better place. And ultimately she just wants to feel safe. That's when we're leading towards a breakup or breaking some promises within that relationship. And when the man has lost his masculine energy, there's a direct correlation between his increase increase in distractions and vices. So watching a lot of television, playing a lot of video games, all kinds of things online or on the internet, you know, abusing social media. Men even engage in workaholism and think that the more money that they make, the more attractive and desirable that I will be to her. Or they're simply just hiding out in work in order to avoid facing the real tough conversations that they know they need to have. A lack of a social life of quality men typically is going to happen in this man's life. He's basically alone and he's lacking a social tribe of quality men, which then makes this man very reliant on the woman. And when he's very reliant on the woman for everything, not just the, the romantic aspect or just being a life partner, but also the social aspect, everything that a guy wants to share, uh, he's putting on her when a lot of this is really supposed to be shared with other men. And you're putting a lot of pressure on the woman because she has to wear all these multiple hats. And again, all that pressure is going to make her feel what? unsafe. And so what's interesting is the man will notice this disconnection. He will notice the lack of intimacy. He will notice that there's a lack of excitement in the bedroom and he'll try and do more. He'll think the more I do for her, the better this relationship will be. Maybe I'm not doing enough. And so by doing this, he's actually putting himself in a needy, chasing, validation, seeking frame. And you're seeking her approval. And this construct here, you cannot be attractive. The seeking of validation, neediness is basically repellent towards attraction with women. Even though you think you're doing everything right, you're actually pushing her away. And that's what guys get wrong. She holds the power and the power dynamic is off. And she's not necessarily respecting you for the things that you do do. And that's why men can never get it right. She wants you to have that masculine spirit, the masculine energy and the aliveness, the boldness, the drive, the risk taking, the things that are gonna sweep her off her feet and make her feel life again. And what happens here is the man as a last ditch effort will start to then use logic to try and win her over. He'll say things like, look at all the things that I do. Look, you, you don't appreciate me for all these things. And they're all logic based things, all the little things that she wants you to do, you're doing, and how much you provide, and all of that is all good, but what men are missing 
is acknowledging her inner world, her emotional experience. And they think that through logic, they can re-attract her. But the way to attract a woman is not going to be with pure logic. It's going to be with your masculine spirit, your masculine energy, your level of aliveness with not only in the relationship, but also in your own life, your own engagement with life. And what this does is it makes her feel again and it makes her excited again. And so in order to lead her, she has to feel safe with you. Once she feels safe, then logic can be applied. That's when real work and progress can be made. When you're not engaging with her inner world, her emotions, how she feels, you are invalidating her experience of life. You're invalidating how she views the world. And when this happens, she feels unsafe and is going to deny your logic because she doesn't trust in your leadership. From here, the man is actually starting to view the woman that he's dating or, or, or in a long-term relationship with or married to as his mother. And he wants her to treat him the way that even his mother would, to take care of him and that he can do no wrong and that he doesn't have to lead, that he can give and surrender his power and put it up and want her to pamper him. But she's not a man's mother, okay? She wants a man to lead her. And that power dynamic is why women leave good men. Because no matter how good looking you are, no matter how much money or how much is in your bank account, no matter what car you drive or how tall you are, none of that will matter if you do not have your masculine power. If you do not have masculine energy in the relationship, if you do not have aliveness in the relationship, she will leave the good man. And if you want my help in becoming a stronger grounded man, in becoming a masculine leader, who can then rebalance the masculine feminine dynamic in relationships and to reclaim your power, not just for her, but in your own life so that you're leading your own life and that you're alive and happy. You have an increase in self-confidence and self-worth and self-approval and validation of yourself. Just that inner drive that you know that you are enough for what you want and what you want matters. If you want to have that in your life, then I can help. And just click the link in this ad, schedule a call with me, and let's see if you have what it takes.